we are greatly perturbed by the a situation that is happening in Nakasongola, the central district of Uganda, surrounded by all the five rivers and Lake Chogan. The situation we have learned uh, that is uh, hitting Nakasongola, as described by uh, the May area woman member of parliament, Honorable Margaret, who has had a meeting with us on Namasuba Hill, on the Tele Highway, has uh, brought to our attention about the magnitude of the uh, effects of floods that hit the area. Uh, since uh, early March uh, 2020, Lake Choga shoreline water levels has increased, and until now, the five sub counties affected, and 25. Uh, learning sites are destroyed and 1797 households affected 2,111 hectares of land are sub -imaged. You remember the water levels have been are increasing uh, so much in, in Uganda um, and uh, the Lake uh, Victoria levels according to uh, history now more than 50 years ago it has never risen the way it is risen right now it is uh, created the turbines at the Owen Falls Dam in Ginger to uh, release a lot of water which is uh, uh, moved towards the uh, side of Nakasongola I remember there are River Nyamwezi and some other rivers that I've, I've mentioned so what's happening right now is the displacement of people destruction of uh, uh, houses, uh, schools are affected, hospitals, uh, shops and uh, toilets. This is posing a great risk to increase cases of uh, outbreak of diseases like uh, cholera and of course malaria and uh, <clears throat> uh, diarrhea. Uh, so what's happening also is that um, uh, the people are uh, in the need of uh, crucial items for their day-to-day -day life. Uh, they need medicine, they need tanks, they need uh, pursuing beans, they need blankets, they need bed sheets, they need uh, basins, cups and plates, milk for children, uh, drinking water, mattresses and sleeping bags, nets, uh, face masks, construction of public toilets and uh, temporary health facilities. At Heal the Planet Global Organization, we are reaching out to the people of the world like we've always done because we understand that wherever we see a human in need, it calls for humanity response. Mother Teresa believes that the uh, outcome of, uh, of the response of what is given, a uh, little as it may be, without expecting anything in return to people in need, is the greatest justice that we can do to humanity. We've uh, recently had a donation from Prudence Foundation UK and Prudence Insurance Uganda for about 150 million million students which added the a uh, feeding project for the urban poor. Uh, we believe that international organizations, foundations, institutions, millionaires, governments and individuals, Ugandans in the diaspora, for African people and people of good heart around the world can take action to contribute to the people of Karma. Do we need items physically or we need finances? that can be able to assist these people who are now being threatened uh, by the floods that hit Nakasongola in, uh, uh, in central Uganda. We believe that we can take action, we believe that much more that we can do, we believe that uh, we can uh, touch the lives of these people. It is in our humanity DNA that when we see somebody uh, in need, we can take response. The Prime Minister's office is taking as some little response because of the resources and some few people, musicians that try to 
had made some little donations but this has just been a drop in the in an ocean the people still need assistance and we are requesting and reaching out to you tonight the people of america the people of europe the people of asia the people of australia the people of the middle east and for africans we can make a contribution to the lives of people in nakasongola who are affected by the flood uh, uh, we can just sit uh, and watch them amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, adding another uh, threat or fiasco to their lives.